here in Allen, just across from Stumbo Park at a dedication for a new veterans cemetery that will end up being Floyd County's version of Arlington. Floyd County officials, veterans, and citizens formed a large crowd this afternoon for the dedication of the cemetery, located near Stumbo Park and the first of its kind in Floyd County. When I started working for Judge Williams in 2021, he already had it on his list of to-do things that he wanted to get accomplished. I think as a um, veteran, a Marine veteran, he, he loves all the veterans and he really felt like that this was just such a special project to be able to have a special cemetery for our veterans here in Floyd County. Up to $600 off select devices, and that makes this the season of saving and upgrading at Appalachian Wireless with a new or renewed line on any Appalachian Advantage unlimited plan. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Dedicated as the Willard Kinzer Veterans Cemetery, local businessman Willard Kinzer and his son Terry were on hand as guests of honor. The family donated the land for the cemetery. Also at the dedication was high school freshman Jacob Castle, a Boy Scout who added to the cemetery location by initiating construction of a flag retirement section as his final project to rise to the level of Eagle Scout, the Boy Scout's highest rank. So for my Eagle project, I wanted to build a permanent flag retirement facility, and that's what we did. It's right behind the shelter. And it took a lot of work. We've been working for about six months now. The hardest part was probably getting the labor for it, which we did get it. Uh, Adam McGinnis and his uh, construction technology class with KCTCS. Allen also noted Willard Kinzer's military history during the dedication. Mr. Kinzer, of course, uh, famous story about, uh, about Mr. Kinzer during World War II and being involved in that, uh, with that ship explosion that's so famous. And the fact that he survived that, he felt like that God had great things for him to do. And he was uh, instrumental in donating this property because he wanted again to do something for the veterans as well. The first section that is prepared will accommodate 680 plots with an additional 40 acres in place for future expansion. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Captain.